Hello and welcome everyone joining us for the terahertz trading for today, Tuesday, January 31st. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for being here. I am super excited. I got so much to share with you and we love our terahertz community. So, so excited to be talking all about terahertz. I'm so excited. If you've just gotten your terahertz, congratulations. You're going to have a great time with it. And we have a lot to talk about. And I think I figured out this entire microphone issue on Zoom. So whoever said the issue related to background noise blocking, you are an angel. Thank you very, very much. You were absolutely on point. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. So let me see if Benet is able to join us because Benet, I know, is in the incredible storm right now. Let's see if you're able to join us for a little while, at least Benet. So hello, Christine. I know yours is on the way if it hasn't gotten there yet. Roland, I'm so glad you're here. Penny is joining us. Pat, hey, Patricia, Marjorie, got great. Kate is here. Thank you. Jeanette, hello. Helen, so nice to have you. Deborah, I'm so glad you're joining us. And Benet, how are you, my dear? Oh, we don't have your sound. Oh, no. Find your sound here. I'm going to try to get you to unmute. Can you unmute from here? There you go. I unmuted. Yeah, we're in quite a deal here in Texas. We have got an ice storm. There are branches down everywhere. There's That's scary. There's it's it's a mess it's a just a mess my, well, i'm so we're we, praying for you and sending you lots and lots of good energy please yeah well we're happy you're here and hey karen welcome thank you for joining and oh lisa lisa i have to doubly thank you we're going to be sharing your testimonial today thank so, you oh did i lose you <laughs> poor benet benet are you there Benet, you're, I'm here. You're, I'm here. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah. So Lisa, what we're going to do is, would you be Can interested? Can you hear me now? <laughs> um, Benet, I'm going to have to mute you because there's some issues with your audio. So let me mute you here and I'll just talk for a moment. Okay. Let me just, uh, let me just stop everything. And um, let me give you a little bit of a break. I'm going to let you sit in the background for a little bit and then I'm going to check in with you in a little bit just to see if the audio is a little bit better, but it was, uh, you, you poor dear, you're like me when my, when my, uh, internet was out the other week. Oh my gosh. So Lisa, and would you be willing, would you be able to share? Cause I've actually documented your wonderful testimonial, but we would love to hear it from you if you'd like to share, or I can just read your testimonial. It's completely up to you. Um, Okay. And hello from Sweden, Kajel. Am I saying that right? Probably not. So thank you for joining us from Sweden. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust the background noise settings a couple of different times. And um, Lisa, I'm going to be reading your testimonial. So if you don't want to share live, I just know I'm going to be, I didn't reveal any names or anything except for your name and wonderful testimonial. And we love our testimonials. So we'd love to have more testimonials along the way. Now, let me see if I can do this. It says the background noise suppression is automatic, low, medium, high, or the original sound. So let's try um, high background, original sound for musician recommended. Let's try the high, high background speech, medium. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try this. Okay, I'm going to try this right now. Give me feedback in the chat if you can hear the terahertz right now. So can you, were you able to hear it running? No, you can't hear it. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy. Background noise suppression. Okay, I can't have it be high. Let me try it be low. And I may even go with original sound. Let's just go with original sound and echo, echo cancellation. So let's try this one. Can you hear this one? Were you able to hear at that time? 
Yes, you can hear it. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. It's all because of the background noise issue. That is absolutely crazy. So you'll have to let me know if you start to hear any really loud background noise or if it somehow interrupts the flow of what we're doing together. And I may turn it off as I go back through the rest of my lecture. But while we're here, um, let's just, we'll, well, I'll probably just show it again. But yeah, this is, um, there we go. That's low and high fan. And then one more, I'll probably show this again, but then we switch to blue light. And then we got low and high. And it's actually not that terribly loud. Um, so let's see what you guys are saying here in the chat. Okay, you can tell the difference. You can hear it loud and clear. Okay. Well, you have to continue to catch me up on the background noise because now we're naked. <laughs> We've got naked background noise. All right, let's get started. I would love to hear more of your testimonial. So as you're going to see, Lisa's testimonial is amazing. And we would love to gather more of your testimonial. So please do send them to me, Ariel at GeniusBioFeedback.com. So if you've just gotten your terahertz, if you've gotten your wand or your box, and now you'll even be able to hear this, which we can play this one. This is going to sound loud. I'll explain the controls. But you know, this isn't that loud compared to other terahertz units. I love the 7.0 wand. It's reasonable, reasonable in its decibels and it's also very very effective i love the warmth and the blue light that comes from the terahertz wand so if you just gotten your terahertz in the uh, maybe by ups delivery or somehow you just received it or you've had it for a while big congratulations and thank you for checking out our training so terahertz technology is i am finding something that really resonates with our cells our cells love being exposed to these terahertz frequencies in some way in the same way that our cell that our body loves to be out in the sunlight there's something really resonant and um, attractive to human physiology that the terahertz technology it seems to bring to human beings i think this is coming along at a wonderful time a time that we really need this and i also think it goes great with your genius frequencies i think it's different from the genius frequencies it's more physical it's more visceral you can do testing with your genius you can do subtle frequencies with your genius you can broadcast them long distances you can't do that with the terahertz but the terahertz is very physical like i love to use the terahertz technology when i want to pick me up when i just feel like run down from the day i just feel beat down and i just want to feel uplifted with the energy I love utilizing the terahertz technology. So um, we also think it does positively affect the stem cells and reaches the bone marrow. That's some of the information that's coming out. And it seems to help to clean up free radicals. It's a wonderful overall wellness tool that works in synergy with the genius. And I know, Lisa, you even did a before and after on the aura that was spectacular. So Lisa, I'm going to read your testimonial. And you can comment and add anything in that you want. Anyway, she said that today is the only the third day I've used the terahertz box. And um, for this before after, I've used the warm air, low fan setting and used the red light. So that is on the core box. And she used the red light and the low setting that we were just sort of playing the low and the high um, for us. She's there. Okay, I can answer questions afterwards. Okay, great. And uh, I mean, you're welcome to tell the story too, Lisa. So I'm gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll bring you up here as a um, panelist. And if you wanna jump in at any time, you can just join us. Or if you're sh shy and you don't want to, you could do that too. So let me um, just grab you from here from the participants and we'll bring you up and would love to have you join us. And there we go. Okay, so she says today is the third day I've used the terahertz box and um, 54 year old male with left shoulder pain. His pain was a solid eight of 10, debilitating to the point where he couldn't work. This is what I used the core box for and how long I spent on each area. 
Okay, the main points, the palm of the hands, which we talked about, the lymphatic points, the inner elbows, the armpits, both sides of the neck, the top of the head, which is the governing vessel up there, behind each knee. The main point at the bottom of the foot, we talked about kidney one, up and down the midline. So she did the um, routine that we described in the last training. We're going to repeat it again and add in some new points today. So don't feel like you missed anything. Now, last week, what I've done from the training from last week is I basically summarized everything and put it together in about a 10 to 12 minute tutorial that is now on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can get everything distilled down from the hour training in 10 to 12 minutes with the slideshow. And I thought that would be easy for people who are trying to catch up. You don't have to watch the whole hour. You can just enjoy the basically the condensed training. Okay, so I spend about 10 to 15 seconds on each point and a little longer on the midline. We talked about the power of the meridian lines at the midpoint of the body. So right down the middle, and then you would use those vertical up and down um, sweeping motion with the box or the wand and she used the box. On the feet she spent eight minutes. She used the box on both feet entirely and that's a wonderful idea of uh, both the top of the foot and the bottom of the foot have key um, acupuncture Chinese meridian points. So what a wonderful idea to use it on the feet on the top and on the bottom. You're very, very smart to do that. Everything below the ankle bone as the feet contain all the reflex points to every organ area of the body. There you go. And the left shoulder five minutes because that's where the pain was. So she did very cleverly all these outer points, right? She set up everything, the downloads, the hands, the feet, worked on the lymphatic points and sort of cleared the whole area. The feet got everything ready to work on the main point of interest where the pain is. So on the left shoulder, she spent five minutes. I used the box on the back of the shoulder, the side of the rib cage, and a few minutes on the top of the shoulder and the chest area. So that was a great idea to work on all of the muscles that were related and allow the terahertz. You could use both red and blue light on and off um, to these areas in order to help the person. Now, if the person is very inflamed in an immediate injury, you may not want to put so much heat because heat is going to add to their experience of the inflammation. In this case, you want, may want to use a cool setting or if they're very inflamed, it's an immediate injury, use it around the peripheral area away from the actual injury. Because you know, you, with an injury, you usually ice it. You wanna get some of that blood flow down um, so that they don't experience as much pain. But this is more of a chronic issue that she's dealing with. So the total time was 18 minutes. The pain went from an eight out of 10. And so the way that we talk about pain in medicine is a one is really no pain at all, or hardly any pain. A uh, five would be like, ah, oh, that's moderate pain. 10 is I got to go to the hospital. It's excruciating. I can't take it. And so his was like an eight out of 10. So pretty high. And it went to a two. And he said, holy smokes. There was another word, but I edited it. Holy smokes. That's amazing. That works better than some of the pain relievers I've tried. So that's awesome. We want to get people off of pain relievers because people don't know that things like your ibuprofen, and your Tylenol, they actually have a lot of kidney and liver side effects if you take them on a regular basis. So this person is a skeptic about these things. He's willing to try something once or twice, but usually just rolls his eyes. We had a few trial sessions, just two days to play around and practice with the terahertz. These are his observations. When I just used the core box on his shoulder only, there was some mild relief and only lasted an hour. But when I did the main points on his hands and feet entirely, he felt so much better and said I didn't even need to do his shoulder. He was shocked. That is so very, very cool. I love this story of working around the area first in order to sort of drain the area. So Lisa, let's at least see if we can get you on audio um, and talk to you a little bit about this experience. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. So this was, tell us a little bit more or anything you want to add to this. Um, well, yeah, I can say that he was definitely shocked um, that he got 
such um, rapid pain relief in such a short amount of time. And the other thing th that he noticed as well, um, you know, because again, he is very skeptical and sometimes it's, well, is it just a coincidence? Is it placebo? Like what's going on? But he said, no, he said, every time, every time that I applied terahertz, there was an immediate reduction in the discomfort he was feeling every single time. And he's like, I, I've never experienced anything like that before. So he's like, whatever this is, I love it. <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. I'm so, so happy to hear that his shoulder's not in pain anymore. And um, are you enjoying using the core box? Yes, absolutely. Um, and the other thing I think that really surprised him was that um, the importance that he felt in his own body of doing those main points when I explained what they were and why we do them, and then to do the feet, that by the time I got to the shoulder, he's like, well, you don't even, I don't even think you really even need to do the shoulder. Like that's I'm already, amazing. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It just, yeah, it just shows how interconnected our bodies are and the power of those particular points. Yes. And so, you know, for me, that just goes to show, you know, so many people get this and have a gazillion questions. What if a person has this implant or this stint or this, you know, some people are like walking artificial body parts and you don't even know what you can do, do the totally body, true. do the feet. Yes. And that's a, such a good point. So if anybody has somebody with a stent, with a titanium plate, you're concerned, you're not sure just work those points that we talked about kidney one on the foot um the the points of the palm or even just the whole hand the, the palm of the hand the whole you could do a sweeping you could do the circle for the point and then you could do just like sort of a sweeping motion um up and down so just a, you know the up and down vertical motion up and down vertical motion on the back and the same thing with the top of the foot and the bottom of the foot so that's a really a great point to bring up yeah, the, the feet and the hands are very, very um, potent and shouldn't be overlooked thinking, well, right. what can I do if I can't, you know, use the terahertz on that specific spot? You don't need to. If you, if you can't, there's so many other options. And um, so Wendy has some questions uh, and I'm going to ex expand on her questions. Um, well, I'll ask hers first. Did you use the blue light at all or only the red light? In that session, I only did the red light because um, it was, you know, deep muscular. So I just went with my gut instinct and went with the red light. And then, yes, I did give him a glass of terahertz water afterwards. Nice. Very smart. And I was going to say, did he drink something before? But, um, you know, he still not had this, a great effect. No, not not this time. He didn't know. But after he did. Okay, fantastic. Well, I love hearing about this and continue to let us know how things are going with your terahertz work. And thank you so, so much. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to mute you here. But, you know, Lisa, keep us posted and we'll love to have you back and talk about any of the points that you're working on or anything that you've discovered. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. We'll bring Benet back on and see, Benet, I'll unmute you and um, start your video and just see how it goes. And then I may, I may shut it down if it just doesn't work. And uh, but we always love to have you when you're able to. So we'll have you there. I Are you doing you. okay, Benet? I am doing well, thank you. I think I saw in the chat that you found a case for what, the wand or the box? Yeah, Margaret was asking about the case for the wand. I'm not satisfied with the case. Um, okay. There, we'll because continue to look for one and yeah, create it, one if we need to. Yeah, look for a uh, either a, a hair press. What am I trying to say? The straightener, a hair straightener, okay, or a curling iron case, okay. and then be sure that from I'm going off memory. I think it's 19 inches. Give yourself enough to uh, the cord is what I don't like. The cord mm -hmm. ends up being too skinched over. Yeah. To get it in there okay i understand that's what i don't like i'd okay. rather have a little bit more room all right we'll think we'll think about that we'll noggin um on that one um is avoiding the stent the areas with the stent or metal because of the heat well the heat yeah the heat can actually heat up a stent or metal isn't that correct uh benet oh yeah absolutely you want to stay away from any type of 
men period stent you know is that and anything just be away from the area don't be scared to use it elsewhere because plenty of people have gotten marvelous results elsewhere and like the points don't be scared to not use it but just don't wand over the top of that and it would be best in a lot of cases like you're bringing up use the cool setting don't use the heat because you're getting the terahertz frequencies, you're getting the elemental frequencies that are added in there, and you're getting the uh, blue or red light. All you're not getting is the, the high heat fan. So yeah, go ahead with that. Oh dear. <laughs> I, I'm still here, I'm still here. I'm just trying to adjust for the- Okay. <laughs> I thought, oh boy, here we go. Now we've lost Dr. Ariel. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, st I'm still here. Okay. I wouldn't use, Sherry says, I wouldn't use this with electrical implants, but wondering about meta metal replacement. So just what Benet recommended. Use common sense, you guys. It does heat up at a very deep level. So you just want to be super careful. So we that's why we warn you and warn you and warn you and tell you and tell you and tell you. Um, and it says specifically in the little insert, inside the box, not to use it for this, but use the what Lisa mentioned and what we said last week, which is we use the palms of the hands and the feet. And he didn't even, that's so awesome. He was like, I don't even need you to work on my shoulder. Isn't that fantastic, Benet? That, that really is fantastic. That's why we want to hear testimonies from you guys. Yeah, exactly. Really, yeah, really, really great. Okay, let's see. We've got some other um, things in the chat. Let's see if we, uh, how would you treat an older gentleman with a farm accident many years ago, which his lungs were weak because his chest was crushed? Um, well, if you have weak lungs, you could work around the lungs. You could work on lung. You could look up the lung meridian and work on lung meridian points. We're going to talk more about points today. You know, it's always good to think about not treating a specific condition, but how you support overall physiology. The body has an amazing ability to heal itself. The key points are removing obstacles to cure, like toxins and blocked emotions or poor diet, um, poor you know ability to absorb nutrition and so forth, cleaning up the gut. And also just what are the physiological blocks? If the lungs are not optimal, then you'd want to think about deep breathing exercises or learning about the lung meridian and starting to work on those points. Anything you want to add to that, Benet? What, what shows, uh, Christina, I don't know if you've done this, but let's also think about incorporating our genius with this. So my question was, what, if anything, shows up on the genius, especially under your meridian points uh, in dealing with this gentleman, Christina, and all the rest of you as well? Um, it's very important. I mean, you can wand the points that are literally coming up on the genius and see if that would be of some, That's you know. another great idea. So look at the meridians on your genius, and then you can find, you know, maybe the top red or low blue points, and you can wand those points as well. Maybe we'll talk about that more next week and show some examples um, of that. So um, now we you can actually read this testimonial by going to geniusbiofeedback.com. So let's just see um, if we could do that for a moment. And what I'm going to do is maybe just stop the share for a second just so I can grab that. And so, Benet, do you want to tell us about any new testimonials or experiences in your neck of the woods there? Oh, as from last week to this week, I don't have any new testimonials. Um, I just enjoyed the testimonial about the pain situation because it is phenomenal as far okay. as pain reduction or pain elimination, you know, as well as, like I mentioned last week, any type of skin conditions. Um, whatsoever i mean it really is amazing on those two fronts mm -hmm. and of course anything and everything else with that um yeah i love it for i love this idea for pain because it's so innocuous it's so easy yeah. to utilize it and um it just so it just 
you just, hey, would you like me to, um, you know, would you like me to apply some terahertz frequencies around that area or to the feed or to the lymphatic points or anything? It's just so easy. In general, I just over and over again, and everybody should use their terahertz every day if you can, just to learn more about it for yourself. And as you use it over and over again, I, every single day when I use it, I find that, wow, I have more energy. I just feel perked up. I don't need like a cup of coffee or something like that. I just, I just feel uplifted from just a few minutes of using the terahertz. <laughs> oh, wait till you read Domin, Domin, it's changing too fast. Dominique, oh, Dominique. Dominique, maybe. I uh, had we'll, my knee. We'll read read that one boy she's got a good testimony here okay well i want to i definitely want to read that but i wanted to show the last part here that um she did say that um the before and after scan so on the genius i think she basically took his voice and his picture and then analyzed the aura and so this was his before aura and then what you do in this case is you actually do the wand come back and re-record the voice, take the person's picture again, and then you do the after aura. And let's look at the after aura. Wow, wow. look at that beautiful, wow. a lot of the sort of the, the haziness and the gray around it. And it even looks sort of weak, like the um, energy seems kind of weak in this one, like the chi. And then you come to this one, it looks so much stronger. And that yeah. beautiful purple energy coming through, that looks really great. Yeah. Okay, so thank you again, Lisa, for, for sharing that. And we want to go back into here. And uh, let's see what some of the messages are saying. So, okay, so Dominga says, I had pain in my knee seven of 10. And meanwhile, I was listening to Lisa, I took my box and passed it on my hands both sides and the bottom of my feet I pass it again now my pain is more like a two out of ten this thing really works that's awesome Dominga thank you so much we'd love to have a, a written testimonial from you as you begin to experience the box more I know you just recently got yours um would love to hear more of, as you discover more and you're testing more which I'm sure we will okay so um terahertz so we're, every week we will bring in new information and every week we'll be repeating some information we know we have brand new people we have some people who come every week and with this new technology who doesn't need to learn it and have it emphasized a, a few times so terahertz frequencies are found between far infrared if you've ever been in a far infrared sauna you've experienced that wonderful far infrared feeling it goes beneath the skin it goes into the body causes you to sweat this is just a little bit higher up on the bandwidth, on the frequency. And you can just think of it as a very positive frequency that you're basically in training into your system and it's having all of these wonderful benefits. So researchers are now beginning to discover great health benefits from terahertz therapy for the human body. Um, it seems to assist the cells in self-repair. Most people report feeling better and having more energy, especially with that red Light is going to help to activate the mitochondria of the body and help you to more efficiently produce ATP or energy. And we're going to talk more about red and blue light. And the blue light is great. Think about your immune system. Think if you have somebody who has something that is coming on and you want to stop it in its tracks, think about utilizing the blue light. And the blue light is wonderful for anything related to skin. Now, when you see before and after pictures, Benet, I have seen a few before and after pictures of women want to show what they look like before and after. And I've been shocked. These women look 10 years younger when you see them before. And after. Have you seen these pictures too? I have seen those pictures. And just to be very clear, that is somebody who's diligently using that uh, for a few minutes every day. Uh, when you got some kind of results like that. And it probably also has to do with, um, you know, what kind of skin products are they using to help that whole facilitation of the collagen and everything? Well, could you take so, the wand and run it over your skin products, run it over your skin lotion and put the terahertz <laughs> into your skin lotions and creams? Just like, yeah, just like with our remedy plate. I mean, you can consider using the terahertz <laughs> box or wand and energize, energize anything, energize, energize. Your, your supplements, your uh, anything, just like what we do with the remedy plate. That's wonderful. And do, 
don't neglect terahertz in your water. Now you can use the red light and the blue light, alternate. Now, how long really should you be, if you had a glass of water right there, Benet, how long should you be terahertzing the water? Is it 30 seconds, a minute? Is it longer? How long? I like to do two minutes. Um, there might be some discrepancy with that, but I like to be sure that there is potent. Let me just put it that way. It Excellent. may be one minute, but you know, I like to do it for a couple of minutes. Couple of and minutes. do it on the water. Don't do it through the glass or whatever. Do it right where okay, the- Okay, that's a good distinction. So the raw actual water itself, you're gonna just be taking the wand or the box and actually, yeah. we should show that next time on screen. So let exactly. me make a note of that because you know, until you show it, people don't really get it, but you want yeah. to tear hertz directly onto the water. Yeah, it's better that way because you don't know what's happening when you're wanding through glass to get to the water. You know, I mean, just blow on the water. Excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, so terahertz acts on the subcutaneous tissues, goes through the skin, acts beneath the skin where it starts to do all of its wonderful work and get the terahertz energy around to our cells, into the lymphatics, which are just below the skin. It's known to resonate at the same optimal frequency as our cells. So it can help to cells to get better hydrated and to release metabolic waste, all types of great things. Now that we have the sound corrected, and I have to actually recorrect it because of the dog. Oops, I just muted myself. Let me, let me do this. We're going to talk about the controls and I'm going to do original sound here during this time. Dr. Ariel, before I forget, I've got yes, to say, please. I forget it. Yes. Um, the hotter that the core box gets. Okay. I'm, my intuition is telling me, because I don't have proof of this, but I'm in, my intuition is telling me, do not set your box down on the silver portion. Yes. Set it on, I'm set glad it, you're saying this. Set it on its back. I'm, I'm intuitively... I think I think we need a stand where the stand could actually hold it just like this sort yeah. of upright. So let's keep, we're going to keep looking for that. And we, even if we have to invent one or something and have this wonderful stand, because then you could receive it right with on the stand, but also it'll hold it properly. So don't yeah. put your, don't put your box down like this. I think it's possible it could scratch, um, but also because it's very, very warm on the front. So don't put it that is. down. Always lay it down on its back. It is sunny side up. I'm not saying it's going to crack by doing that. I, I don't think it sense. I think it's better care. I think it's better care. You also don't scratch it. So you want to yeah. really sort of take care of that front side. Um, okay, the controls, right? So now yeah. we can show it. So I'm just going to test again. Tell me if you can hear this, Benet. Can you hear it? No. And once again, you can't? No. You guys hear that? Let me try one more time on the audio settings. Original sound automatically adjust the microphone. Let me just see in the chat. Can you guys hear that? Yes, I can. Yes, Lisa says no. Let me try one more time. So let me just ask again, can you hear it? Some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. Oh God, that's hilarious. What did you choose different this time from last time? Not, there's nothing that's different. It was the same. It's absolutely the same as before. Let me try. Um, I'm going to increase. I'm going to increase the input volume just a little bit, which probably my voice is going to sound louder. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Now, let me try echo cancellation. I'm going to take off echo cancellation. Now, do you hear it? Nope. All right. Well, um, I think all of you guys need to get your hearing checked. Um, those of you who can't hear it. Okay, no, just kidding. All right, so those of you who can hear me, we'll just go for it. So it has an on and off switch that's being shown in the picture. So this is on. And then this is a switch that's gonna switch from blue light to red light. So let's see if we can see the light right here. Now my shadow is very good. So the red light, and then switch it again to blue light. You can sort of see the blue light there. It's a little bit better. Yeah. And switch it again. So this is the high fan. 
and that's the low fan. And then switch it again to red, high fan and low fan. I think it's very obvious if you play around with it, you'll absolutely be fine. I don't think anybody's gonna find this to be a mystery or they're gonna be completely confused by the three controls, on off switch, red to blue, and then high fan, um, sorry, uh, yeah, high fan, low fan, and then high heat, cool, high heat, and then cooler. And you just play around with it. The nice thing about the core box is that it does not get really as warm as the wand. And it doesn't need to because of the five terahertz chips that are inside the box. It's very, very efficient. You're probably using it then for a shorter amount of time than you're actually needing to use the wand because of the five chips that are contained within here. Each one produces the terahertz technology. Is that so? Is that your understanding, Benet? Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right. Then we have the terahertz wand. I love this 7.0 wand. Sometimes I do like to have a bit of that warmth, especially when it's kind of cool out. And is somebody else, do we have somebody? I think maybe the other, let me just see. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put you back here. Change your role to attendee, Lisa, you can enjoy. There was a little bit of background noise that might've been you tapping your desk or something. All right, so the terahertz wand, wonderful, wonderful. And it gets a little bit warmer. Sometimes I love that warmth. It's a little bit chilly out and you get more of the direction. And Benet, tell us a little bit about, there's one, one chip in here and then there's a quartz that kind of directs the energy. No, it's the quartz crystal is in that shaft. Okay, so the, there's no chip in here. It's an actual crystal. All that, all the back half of that is, is a blow dryer. It it blows. The okay. Frequency. The chip the terahertz chip is mounted in the quartz crystal oh, in here. Yeah, yeah. There okay. you go. It's mounted in there. Okay. Yeah. And so you switch this also, on, and then as you blow, it's blowing through the terahertz energy. Exactly. And okay. the other the other thing that the back half is doing, forgive me, is projecting the blue light that's coming okay. from. Half, okay. No. Okay. Excellent. The front part of that is most important because if you drop that and break the quartz crystal in it, it, the whole thing is toast. Wow. Okay. So you have to be very, very careful with this. Very yeah. careful with this, especially this main part of it here. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. So this one has um, three settings. And when the first one that you switch it on, and we could hear it, some of us. Okay, that's low heat and high fan. And then you're going to hear it lower in the second setting. It's actually a much, much lower sound. And that's the higher heat and low fan. And then if you just wanted to work on the entire body, sort of a sweeping motion, if you're working on somebody else a little bit away from the body, I think then that's the best setting for high heat and high fan. And we can hear that one. Did you hear any of that, Benet? Just when you seem to switch it, we, we're <laughs> hearing like a swish when you first switch it, but then that's <laughs> all we're hearing. All right, anyway. All right, so use the terahertz directly on the skin when possible. It's uh, not necessary, but especially when you use it for yourself, it's much more effective if you have that skin, terahertz to skin connection. Drink water before your session, best, Somebody sent me a long article about the temperature, but I thought last time I said room temperature or warm water, room temperature or warm water. So you're going to drink that, a glass of that before you start. And then you're also going to drink another um, glass after you're done. And even more so, you want to terahertz that water that you're going to drink afterwards. And then you could also terahertz some water for throughout the day. When you basically run the terahertz frequencies over water, how long does that water have the benefit of those frequencies? I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't say any longer than that day that you're that doing. Day. Okay. So, so, but say if somebody wanted terahertz the water and then take it for their, they go out during the day. They want to take it to work. So for the rest of the remainder of the day, it's pretty good. But then you would want to terahertz it fresh the next day. Right. Okay. Probably, it sounds like you say you think you should just drink it right away. That would be good, but you you and I both know that it's not good to just guzzle a, 
right you might be running out the door but within a short amount of time it isn't yeah. actually like the genius frequencies where it's going to stay for a longer amount of time right right okay as you use your terahertz technology you'll probably start to experience increased feelings of wellness and vitality we will get to your questions and your comments shortly when you begin to heal you may notice that your cells feel more healthy your tissues feel more healthy your organs become active again your nervous system becomes unblocked. So you may feel less stressed, more relaxed. You may notice that your sleep improves, although we don't necessarily recommend doing wanding or using your box right before you go to bed. But as you use your box, your terahertz technology during the day, <laughs> then it'll help your total nervous system so you can sleep better. So we're going to review some things that we talked about and that Lisa recommended in case you've not seen this before. We have recommended starting a session with the feet and the hands. This is something that Dr. Bob Marshall from Premier Research has talked about the downloads. And it turns out that we push toxins from the mid core of the body out to the feet and the hands. So it's wonderful. He used to call this clearing the downloads to work on the feet and the hands. And so uh, you can work on kidney one. This is called bubbling spring. It's one of the most important points to work on on your body. And those who study Chinese medicine will tell you that every day, um, you know, put some pressure on kidney one, put some acupressure, even punch a little bit of soft punches to that area. But now you can use your terahertz box on those areas or the wand in a circular motion for 30 seconds or a minute, as Lisa told us that she did. And this is a wonderful point to work on as well as pericardium eight, or also called Lao Gong, which is right in the center of the palm. So that's a very powerful point to work on as well. Okay, so you just easily, you could just put acupressure on it right now, but you can take your terahertz technology and work on those as well. Now we wanna talk on, about some new points today that you can add into your rotation to work on with your terahertz. You could either do it in sequence, you could work on the two points that we just talked about and then do this, or you may just wanna work on this point this is called spleen six. And the person in the picture is showing us spleen six. You know, be gentle when you're first working on a point, it might be really blocked. Um, but if you're not doing acupressure, you're not obviously applying pressure with the terahertz, you're just holding it over and doing that wonderful circular motion. So spleen six, you could work on for 30 seconds on each side, and it's helpful for digestive issues, hormonal imbalances, insomnia, headaches, a wonderful point to work on. So spleen meridian, spleen energy point number six. You could also work on a point. So again, they're showing the acupressure, but you would simply take your box and turn your box on and just work on that point that's being shown right there. So one minute of circular motion, not with the finger, but with the terahertz box. And this is good for relieving pain. It's good for healthy intestines, like healthy bowel movements, and it clears out excess in the head. So if you have headaches, um, if you have neck pain, so this would be large intestine 14, this would be a wonderful point for you to work on with your terahertz technology. And then the last new point that we're introducing today is called liver three. So this is one that was on the, is on the top of the foot. And Lisa talked about working on the top of the foot and the bottom of the foot because there's lots of points there. This is great if you're really upset about something, you're having a lot of anger and resentment, liver three, showing you right there where it is. We're gonna look at another picture of it. And so with this one, if you wanted to, you could actually sort of, if this was your foot, you could sort of do an up and down motion as well, as well as the circular motion. So that may be one that you want to do because of obviously the shape of the foot. And you would do that for 30 uh, seconds or a minute or 30 seconds on left, left foot, 30 seconds on the right foot. It's great for releasing anger and resentment. Isn't that great? So if you finally just had a really frustrating day, you're frustrated with someone, you could work on this point. That's gonna help you to release that emotion and not get it locked in your body. What a wonderful thing. So it can ease depression. This is a time of the year for the, those people in the more northern latitudes, or I don't know, maybe Texas too, where you're having 
uh, gray weather, not the greatest weather, not the sunniest weather. You can get like seasonal affective disorder. And so if you're feeling depressed, this is a great point to work on. It's good for just emotional calming and release. In fact, it has a couple of names. It's been called happy calm or great rushing. It kind of opens up the energy in a healthy way, meaning emotional energy in order for you to release it. So you can do sweeps to the top of the foot, which I talked about, the sort of like that up and down motion or the circular motion. And that is liver three. And there's another picture of it there. Um, I think a soon, if you see, is actually the thumb, the width of your thumb is considered to be one soon. So one and a half to two soons is sort of two widths of that thumb is what they're showing there. You know, intuitively, if you kind of use your intention, I want my attention to be drawn to liver three and you sort of nestle into between those two toes of sort of moving up, you'll find it almost immediately. And usually you'll find it'll be a little bit sore. So you can sort of be your own acupuncturist in this way opening up the energy. And remember, you could test yourself on the genius for all the meridians and then, you know, go into that particular meridian on the genius and see which points are coming up for you. And you could just Google the points and see what the points represent and what the benefit of working on the point would be. Now, last time we talked about the lymphatic clearing points, Lisa also mentioned that she utilized those. These are wonderful because the lymphatics help to clean your cells they help to move metabolic waste away from your cells, and they're also an important part of your immune system. We're going to show a picture of the lymphatics in just a, a moment, I think. And then you would work on basically underneath the arms is a great place for lymphatic tissue. So you can um, work with your terahertz technology there behind the knees, um, in the elbow creases, at the, at the groin, and at the neck. And behind the neck, um, within the, at the occiput, there's a lot of points as well. Um, acupuncture Chinese meridian points as well. Okay, so there's the lymphatics. And so all of these lymphatics are places um, where we process a lot of um, pathogens, bacteria, viruses. And so there's a lot of lymphatic fluid in order to disengage those particular pathogens. But our lymphatics are not just where it being shown here. There's actually everywhere that we have capillaries, we have blood cells, we have a paired lymphatic channel. And so we have them all over the body. And what they do is they basically help uh, as our cells, just as we eat and we release waste, our cells consume food transmitted or transferred by the blood to the cells. And then they also excrete their metabolic waste. And that metabolic waste is picked up by the lymphatic channels. And then your movement within the body helps to clear them into bigger and bigger lymphatic channels where they're eventually eliminated through the kidneys and so forth, eliminated from the body. So we need to work these lymphatics and the terahertz frequency is a great way to help with the lymphatic drainage as well as rebounding and skin brushing and yoga is great and sauna is great for lymphatics. And your lymphatic fluid, if anybody watched the frequency of five to eight podcasts, the one gem that we, or we got many gems, but one of the and Karen knows this because she was on with Robert Young. He really talked about and talks about in his books that one of the keys to longevity is caring for the lymphatic fluid, taking care of the health of the lymphatic fluid. And this can help you with, it, with this as well. Here are some of the main meridian channels right down the midline in the front, through the front of the body, we have the conception vessel. And in the back, we have the governing vessel. So you could just go do a vertical sweep up and down the body to that midline, and you are working on some very key um, channels in Chinese medicine by doing that. So it's a wonderful way to use your terahertz technology. We know that terahertz reduces blood viscosity, and we know that really thick blood is very dangerous because it impairs our circulation and can lead to other serious um, cardiovascular consequences. So there's a wonderful high frequency vibration in terahertz and it helps to sort of exercise the cells. It helps to get them back to their optimal frequency. And so the exercise helps to tone up the cells and increase the excretion of water. Have you ever heard of anybody saying that they just, that they felt like they had lost some water weight from using the terahertz? I've not heard of anybody saying that, but I could well imagine because it's penetrating to a lower cellular level. It would make like, sense because sometimes you feel very bloated and you feel like you're retaining water. 
And some of that is the, uh, the kidneys not functioning as well as they could, but probably this just inability for the cells to really powerfully release. And it's inter it would be interesting if they could be activated and if somebody notices that they're sort of urinating more over the first few days of using the terahertz technology, that would be interesting and that would could sort of explain what's happening. And also working on those kidney channels like kidney one may help to increase the elim elimination of the body, meaning, you know, more urination for um, sort of this, you know, fluid waste that people are hanging on to because their kidneys are not functioning at optimal capacity. All right, terahertz uh, powerfully activates cell metabolism, reduces blood viscosity, enhances cell regeneration, may help to slow the process of aging because it seems to improve the, the physiology of the body. And then we talked about the blue light is on the core box as well as the wand. And blue light is a high energy, high penetration, visible light between 380 and 500 nanometers. And blue light is associated with the ability helping with the, to kill bacteria. So think of immune support when you're thinking about blue light, thinking, think about skin health and think about the health of the collagen. So when you're trying to sort of distinguish in your mind, what does blue light do? What does red light do? These are some of the things that blue light does versus red light. So blue light, antimicrobial. Um, so what you could do with your wand on the blue light or the core box on the blue light is, so if we have the box here, have the box on, and switch it to the blue light, kind of see that. So with that, what you could do is you could run this. Um, if you don't have any silver fillings here, you could just run it right around the jaw, right? To work on any tooth infections, or you could run it right around the neck. Just be careful, don't run it. I think don't run it right over the thyroid. I think that's smart to sort of stay away from it. In case anybody has goiter they don't know about, we don't wanna overactivate the thyroid. So just use some common sense. Um, but you could also use it around the gut, around the abdomen for any gut infections. You could use it over the kidneys for, you know, potential kidney infections. When we used to test people um, in QRA, which is quantum reflex analysis, we would do the, these tests for the company that I talked about, Premier Research. Uh, we would always find chronic infections in the brain that people didn't know about, but they're not like active infections or chronic infections in the kidney. They're low level infections. They're infections you would never be able to find on a lab. They're not affecting you on a day-to-day -day basis, but that's why I said over the kidneys, because there could be subclinical low level infections. If you know you have a kidney infection, don't do this, go to your doctor. That's, that's not what we're saying here. We're saying for more chronic low level infections. And once again, that the um, core box, if you're thinking about getting the core box or you want a reminder, it has these five chips in it. It's uh, more efficient at the cooler temperatures. You really need to run it for less time because it is so efficient. Talk about the red light benefits. Lisa talked about using it. She liked to use it for pain reduction and assist the mitochondria, may help to reduce wrinkles and fine lines and even age spots. And what I see in the different terahertz groups are people who they show that they, they were pulling out a certain amount of hair, losing it in their, their hairbrush um, over the course of several you know, of days. And they're showing, oh, I'm like, don't show pictures of the hair that you took out, but they're showing it anyway. And then they show the progression and it's like their hair is not coming out in handfuls in the brush anymore. And that's amazing. And they're showing that their hair is thicker if there's more growing in, there's more growing in faster. So to do that, you could actually terahertz over the scalp, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what you do. Sure. All right. May help to clear acne. And then the terahertz, another thing that you can do, this comes from the osteopathic profession. Um, you can actually, there's a lot of total body release that you get from working on the fibula, working on the hip bones and working, so it's fibula, hip bone, and there's one more tibia, or it's the hip bones in the front. So what we call the ASIS, the fibula and the ankle. That's what I couldn't remember. So I'm working on the ankles as well. So this is another release that you can do. All right, let's look at some of the questions that have been coming in. And could you use the cell phone holder? Do you, did you get the cell phone holder? 
Yeah, the I couldn't, my background wasn't showing it last week. Uh, the one, do I need to put that link again in the chat for well, the just one tell us a little more tell us just a little bit about how is it how is it working for you oh it, it's it's wonderful i mean it's you have to be careful what fits what opens up to fit that box not many open up right and if they open up then they don't hang they don't grab them this particular one that i put the uh in the chat last week i mean it, it's great all right put it in the box. chat now so that we have it and we'll take a look at it box it's goes good. in there it holds it nicely i mean yeah no it's really good all right let's just go ahead and see what um questions that people had red light is not okay directly on the face especially the eyes um uh, karen i'm gonna have to check that do you know that too? so don't shine any of these directly in your eye that's just common sense so that's number one don't shine any of these directly in your eyes stay away from direct contact direct shining anything right into the eyes. But I don't know if red light is contraindicated for the skin on the face. Have you heard that? I have not heard that. Well, Karen, we'll certainly, Karen G, we'll certainly check into that and take a look and see if I can find that out. I will see if I can find that out. Um, did you, and just put that link in there. We would love to have a protocol for acne or psoriasis. Well, we know that the red light specifically has been used in different skin applications for acne. And blue light is good too, because it's antimicrobial. So I would use an alternation of blue light and red light. Now, when you say acne and psoriasis, you know, anything on your skin is because something inside your gut. Acne and psoriasis happen because there's um, a deeper problem. Well, we talked about this um, before, we, a deeper irritation in the gut. And so think about liver points. Think about liver three that we talked about or working along the liver meridian or maybe working on the stomach meridian. So that, that could be as well. Do you have anything you want to add in terms of a protocol for acne and psoriasis? No, that's, that sums it up good, Ariel. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So let's see. I used the wand on my herbal peppermint tea and it tasted much better. That's really cool. All right. The wand improved the texture of my hair and made it shinier. That's awesome. Will you provide these slides later? We can certainly share the slides. And we're gonna, the whole presentation is going to go to YouTube as well. So you can rewatch this as many times as you want to. And also check out the 10 to 12 minute um, really short version that I did of last week's training. I'll probably do another condensed training for today as well. What about the color of the hair? Is it coming out more black or, you know, I always think that gray or white hair is related to premature um, damage to the kidneys. Um, and so I think if you work on those kidney points, kidney one, other kidney points in the kidney meridian, do we know of anybody in particular has actually legitimately had their white hair go to black hair, Benet? No, that one I have not heard at all. <laughs> you know, but it's, but the, you know, I remember seeing people who when they were going through a very stressful time, like an accountant during tax season, his hair would get way more salt and pepper during tax season. And then the summer, I would see it get more black again. So I do think that there's also a relationship with stress. Um, so, and then but I think working on the kidney meridians, working on the kidney jing, all of those things make sense. The way that you know that you're improving isn't this instant changing of your hair or growing more hair. It's how do you feel? Do you have more energy throughout the day? Do you sleep better at night? Is your mood improving? Do you think more clearly? All of those are signs that your vital force is improving. Okay, I can't find a replay post for last week. There are some issues with the whole um, class from last week. So what I did is I made a synopsis or con condensed video Pat, so I promise that everything in the video from last week is in the synopsis. So just go to my YouTube channel and watch the 12 minute video and you can, you can get all the information. If you want to treat your face and you don't want to actually put the light on your face, then Lisa, this is a great idea, is to terahertz the water and then get a spray bottle and spray that on the skin. What do you think, Benet? Well, that certainly would be helpful. Yes. I mean, you also could use something 
you know how they make these fa- these masks, you know, that are ready. They've already got some things put into them or whatever. Well, and do something creative, a uh, piece of cloth or whatever. Spray the cloth down and put the cloth over your face. And that way there, you know, let it sit on there for a while. That might oh, that's even- interesting. Yeah, if you don't want to put, if you don't want to put the terahertz directly on the skin of the face, then just put a washcloth and then yeah. terahertz the, the wet, the wet washcloth. Yeah, exactly. That's a good idea. Yep. All right. So tell us a little bit about this. Uh, tell us a little bit about this beautiful. So you're saying that, so here's the terahertz. It's pretty, it's the terahertz core box. It's pretty thick. What's the grab grabbiness of this particular one? You're saying it holds the box? That grabs it all the way in there. Oh, Scroll wow. down and show the back side of the top of it. Go down to one of those other pictures. Oh, Eric. okay. And mm-hmm. show the back side of it, and you'll see how much room. Look at that! Look how much oh, room. Oh, that's so. You're so smart to do that. Yeah. So there's room for a really, really thick device that's as a result. I, that, that stand is really good. Really good. That's fantastic. Now, the one thing that you had the comment on that you, that people gave you a little bit of pushback on was the weight. So the weight pulls it down. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, get creative. I mean, you know, wherever you're going to put that stand, you know, maybe you want to take like right now they've got it on a desk and then it's going up. Well, maybe you maybe you've got something that you could put it on, like on a windowsill and then have it come down. You know, I mean, be creative how you can bend. All right, that. Well, I'm going to order this after and we'll demonstrate it next time no. um, in class. Huh? So weight gets distributed a little differently or whatever, you know. All right. Well, let's see what um, there's any other questions here. Can you use the amethyst bed on low only? I guess that's on the face. Maybe is the wand for pain as well, even though you say it's for skin and immunity. So of course, Wendy, you know, pain is one of those places that certain um, uh, entities own the word pain. Um, And so we can't say that but we can give a testimonial from Lisa who told us that her client was able to successfully reduce pain from an eight of 10 to a two of 10. Anytime you make the body work better and terahertz seems to somehow help with inflammation. Would you agree? Yes, I absolutely would agree. Um, One of the things that I would say in experimentation, okay, don't use the highest heat, highest fan, if you have a very inflamed or a lot right. of inflammation. That's in what I was area. mentioning on the lecture. Yeah. I think it's better to back that down. Not that you can't use the heat, but don't use it on the biggest, baddest setting because you might be exacerbating, you know, the thing. So yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Keep that in mind. Yeah, fantastic. Um, let's see, Karen uses it for all of her clients with pain and to open up the meridians and we need to use one on the massage tables, like tripods. Janine Strong has a great tripod. We'll look into it this week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And just report back to us, um, how that went. We would love to hear more about that. And I'm just trying to see if there were any other questions. I would not set it on the red side because it needs to suck in the air from the red side. Now, Penny, let's be really clear. We're saying after you turn it off, not while you're still using it. I would not sit on the red side because it needs to suck the air. And yes, we totally know that. We were talking about when it's hot and you're putting it down after using it. Is that what you were referring to, Benet? Absolutely, yes. Karen was the one that used the wand. You used it for pain. No, Lisa was. Lisa, Wendy, you must have joined us midstream. But Lisa was at the beginning, we, we talked about her testimonial. So Wendy, if you joined us a little bit after the start, then absolutely watch the entire class from beginning to end, because I'm going to upload it to YouTube as soon as we're done um, today. Benay, whenever you can answer, I missed last week. Did you have any info on the hard case? So we talked about that already. We're going to keep working on that hard case. I'm just trying, trying to see if we, if we missed anything. Um, I have a case for the wand. Okay. So it's still working on it. Did you use the blue light at all? We already answered that as well. And so Karen's using it around the ear. 
I don't know why. I am sort of hesitant for a lot of, of terahertz around the head. My inclination is to work more hands and feet and some on the core of the body, legs, knee, hips, but not a lot on the head, maybe the back of the head or the occiput I talked about. Do you have any preference or suggestions? I think you need to limit the mm -hmm. amount of time that you're wanding or, or using the terahertz blowing on the head. Mm -hmm. Even if you're wanting to do the face because you're wanting to improve the wrinkle situation, mm -hmm. you know, three minutes on the face daily. Mm -hmm. More than I enough, heard. but avoid the eyes. And if you do have mercury fillings, silver yeah. fillings, gold fillings, any titanium, you know, don't do this because it heats it up. So you don't want to think common sense. I'm going to take full accountability and responsibility for what I'm doing, how I'm using it. And so if it's, you can't do it here, just do it below here or do it, you know, on the hands and the feet, as we talked about, you'll still get wonderful benefit, but yeah, you shouldn't really be doing it on areas that would have metal that you could heat up. Okay. So Ed, does anybody else have any testimonial that they want to share this evening? And do you have any other um, thoughts or anything that we didn't say, Benet, about the terahertz that you wanted to let people know? Uh, I think I'm, I think I got everything out of my mouth that I wanted to um, as far as something extra that we haven't mentioned before. And I think we've covered most of the things that are in the chat. If we haven't, repeat the questions so that we can see it because there's a lot of them that were way up on top. There was right. one question that I really liked, Kathleen. If I scroll all the way back up, a friend was stung, stung by a jellyfish while on vacation. The wound was still sore and inflamed two weeks later. We used the terahertz wand first and then the cold air blue light setting on the terahertz box. Marked improvement in the discoloration and swelling. That's amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. It's, it's, you want to, it's not exactly like you can use red, red light won't inflame, but you have this sort of gut instinct to use blue to cool things down somehow. Don't you think? Yeah. Just think about blue as being cool or ice or something like that, but they're not necessarily exactly like that. And you can use red light on pain. You can use both the red light and blue light. It won't it won't increase or, or aggravate it from what I understand. Correct, yes. Okay, so um, you can go to geniusbiofeedback.com. Actually, let's just go ahead and get some of those links in there as we're sort of um, getting ready to wind things up. So let's take any final questions that you have this evening. Now we do, we're gonna give some links out in just a moment. We do have training each and every Tuesday. If you are new to our community, and you've not yet gotten your uh, wand or box, you can get that through our website at geniusbiofeedback.com. And we do still have incredible introductory pricing. Like this pricing is not gonna stay the same for um, ever. And it's a, just a really, if you tried to get a wand anywhere, you're gonna find that our prices are extremely low for getting a wand and there's no requirement to join an MLM, no fees or anything like that. And um, people, a lot of people like that. And then our core box um, could run upwards to $800 and we've kept it at the 497 pricing. So that's available on our website under shop. You can see terahertz technology and we're gonna link that. Although I do think a lot of people on here already have that. We're gonna link that also have the terahertz technology. We're gonna link it as well into the YouTube um, description, comments, things like that. And uh, we love working with well, like, this is really fun to come on and to talk each week about the her terahertz technology, about how to use it um, in a professional way and the different um, techniques that you can use. And it's fun to talk about Chinese medicine as well, about the different points, because they're so empowering, whether you use them just for the terahertz or you use them for other things. So have you ever, have you tried using your terahertz over any particular points or lymphatic channels, Benet? Uh, following the meridians off the genius. Yeah. I so mean, you've those... looked at, so you've looked at the genius and then run some of the points that you've seen on the genius that need to be worked on. Yeah, exactly. That's why I suggested that even earlier. Yes. And so have you ever looked at your before and after aura from using the terahertz technology? 
Honestly, that I have not done. I should. I have not. Question, is there somewhere on your website that they could leave testimonials? Um, yes, they can leave it on the product itself. So let's just, um, we okay. can show the different um, terahertz technology that we have here. Let's see if we can okay. go back one. So if you go to here, like the core box, um, okay. we would super appreciate, we do have a couple of reviews that people have placed on here. So um, there are two reviews on the site and you simply go right down here and you go to write a review. So the reviews are here and then write a review. Uh, um, thank you so much, Sherry, for leaving a review. So um, Sophie said, easy to use. I love it. The core box is easy to use. I really enjoy the calming effects of the frequencies. And Sherry said, I, the delivery came on time. I love this new technology. That's something that we've been able to do is really deliver the technology very quickly to people have loved how quickly that the terahertz um, core box has arrived after they've ordered it. And that's compared to other people with other companies where they're waiting. What did you say? Sometimes months for their technology, right? Gosh, yeah. Sometimes I've seen things where they've said they were waiting six months. It's like, holy cow. Wow. Now, I don't think that this is a good idea. Can one breathe the terahertz blower for the lungs? No, you don't want to breathe or like put the terahertz like this and no, you don't want to do that. But you could put the terahertz over the lungs. That's what you want to do or, or learn what the lung channels are in the, in the back, you know, because the lungs really extend all the way to the back of the body. So yes, you could put the blower over the lungs themselves, but don't try to put it down your mouth to get to breathe in terahertz. That just, that wouldn't be good. So, um, and Wendy said, shipping time is amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And um, so Karen's using the rainbow technique massage. You know, Karen, when we see you on Thursday for the podcast, we'll have to ask you for the download on that. And um, okay, so during the week, you're welcome to send me questions to ariel at geniusbiofeedback.com. If you're watching this on the video um, and you're not able to come to our live training or you're watching it live and you want to send me a question, we'll read all your questions and answer them as well as the questions as they come in. You can go to geniusbiofeedback.com to learn more. We're here every week at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, six o'clock Central in order to bring you really good information about terahertz, which sometimes when you're Googling on YouTube is really you know, hard to find like quality training. So we're really proud and happy to bring that to you. And um, Binet, it's amazing. Like your power and everything stayed on the whole time. Knock wood, I'm so happy. Uh, knock on wood that it'll stay like that through the night. I mean, this has really been something else here with this ice storm going on. And I want you to stay safe and... Um, stay inside and, you know, until this kind of blows over. Um, yeah. Is the slide bean page where we find the terahertz presentations? Um, no, you find them on YouTube. So go to my YouTube channel, go to Ariel Policano on YouTube. And that's where all of our presentations um, are. And then Helen says, is the wand in the box made by the same company? Yes, we have a wonderful manufacturer that we work with. And I'm really like very, very pleasantly surprised, um, not surprised, but I'm very pleasantly receive the wonderful high quality of this manufacturer. You can really feel it when you open up and you start using the box and the wand, how high quality they are and they run it. One of the things I've heard the most from people, and I think this must be in the lower quality wand is they do not like the noise. They do not like running it because it's so, and I have to say that the wand, the 7.0 that we have, um, Benet, wouldn't you say that's a very reasonable decibel level for the wand? Oh, I, I definitely think that it's reasonable. I mean, if it doesn't scare dogs, um, <laughs> it really it really doesn't. In fact, mine spread eagle out when- Oh, so when you're talking see... about your, um, your Pomeranians. Yes, when they see the the wand or the box coming, you know, and they've had it before, it's like, okay, uh, they're just, I'm not kidding you, they're spreading you eagle. Should, you should take a picture sometime of one of the, one of the dogs uh, relaxing should. and enjoying. Please do. We'd love to show that yeah. next week on the, on the class. And if anybody's using it on a dog or a cat and has a picture as well, we'd love to hear your testimonial. How has the manufacturer given information on the minerals they added and why they chose the ones that we did? Well, we know the minerals, they are, um, 
zinc, um, iron. What's the other? There's two others. There's iodine. Two. Iodine. Yeah. Well, we'll have to we'll have to ask them more information about that. But we don't have any information on that, except that's really good that you mentioned that. Because I haven't been mentioning that those minerals are actually an additional benefit of utilizing the core box. So I'm glad she brought that up. That's another sort of boost that you get is the energetics of those minerals. Yep. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking of getting two wands to lend out or rent to ongoing clients. We had um, Sandy. Sandy has actually been, uh, for her clients, has ordered. Um, and what she does is she takes a deposit from them and she charges them. Sandy from Canada, she charges them on a per diem for utilizing them. So I think that that's a great idea. Very kind of you to do that and to allow them to utilize it. I do too. Excellent. Yeah, just get the right deposit from them. Make sure that your that your product comes back, yeah. <laughs> um, which you probably would would do. So, um, Christine, if you have further info, you know questions about that, go ahead and send me a message, and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. Benay, you stay safe. We'll see you back here next week. And thank you to everyone. Be sure to go to geniusbiofeedback.com. Go to our events page and learn about our other events. I will be back on Thursday with Karen McDonald. We'll be talking all about. V Clear and V Shed on the Frequency of 528 podcast. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Thanks again, Benet. Thank you.